is a true story that happened with a caller to Islam from Egypt called Amru Khalid. He said, three days ago, I received an email from a young lady from Australia. And the email reads as follows. And I quote, I am a young Lebanese lady that has a Muslim father and a Christian mother. For the first 10 years of my life, I lived in Lebanon. Then we migrated to Australia, which brought an end to my relationship, to my connection with the Middle East. I am currently 22 years of age. And after migrating to Australia, my association with my religion also ended completely. The only thing I know is that I am a Muslimah. That's it. I don't know what the Quran looks like. I don't know how to pray. And the religion plays no significance in my life. My mother and father separated. Each one remarrying another person. I entered university. My mother and father left Australia, leaving me behind alone with no family, no brothers and sisters. I know nothing about my ancestry in Lebanon. I lived alone and I had to work to spend on myself. I attended university in the morning and worked at a bar in the evening. I have a boyfriend and have not left out any haram except having done it without any shame. I am fully westernized. I know a little bit of Arabic. And because I am extremely beautiful, I joined the beauty competition in New Zealand and won in this competition. I am planning to join a bigger competition in New Zealand and I am currently modeling for magazines. During this time, I used to visit a Lebanese family residing in Australia. And I saw a Ramadan episode on television talking about modesty. The episode had its web address displayed. I went through a nervous breakdown. It was as though this episode was addressing me directly. I am sending you this email to ask, is it possible for Allah to accept me? In other words, forgive me. And this is where Sarah's email ends. SubhanAllah. No matter how long a person's iman is, the soul of a person longs for its creator just as the stomach hungers for food, so too does the soul long for Allah. This caller to Islam wrote back advising her about the conditions of repentance and that Allah will of course forgive her if she repents. Two days later, she contacts Amr Khalid and she says, I have repented to Allah and I have left my boyfriend and promised never to see him again. After another two days, she contacts him and she says, I want to learn how to pray. Then another two days pass and she says, I would like some Quranic audio tapes. So he sends her some tapes via DHL courier. A week goes by and he doesn't hear from her until she contacts him and informs him that she has retracted her beauty title of that particular city. Then came the surprise. She contacted him saying, I have put on the hijab. However, the story does not end here. Two days after putting on the hijab, she experiences sharp pain. So she goes to the doctor who diagnoses her with brain cancer and that her days are limited. She enters the hospital to be operated on. The success rate of this operation, as informed by the doctors in Australia, is 20%. This is what the doctor said. As for Sarah, listen to what she had to say. She said, I am pleased to meet Allah. I am happy that I repented prior to finding out about my illness. I don't know whether my mother and father will know about my situation. If I live, I will support your website, for this website is my window to Islam. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. To Allah we belong and to him is our return. May Allah have mercy on Sarah, who died at the age of 22. They buried her with the Muslims in New Zealand. Prior to her death, she sent a short letter to Amr Khalid saying, I lived far away from my Lord for 22 years, 
but I repented and turned back to Allah three weeks ago. I don't know many Muslims besides you and this internet forum. I urge you to make dua for me that Allah has mercy on me and, and to forgive me. Make dua to Allah to guide my mother for she does not know anything about me. Signed, Sarah. كل نفس ذائقة الموت يا